Mm -hmm. Is there a medication for that specifically? Um, yeah, for absolutely. Hyper. Once we diagnose hyperthyroidism, there are medications that can help to uh, normalize the thyroid levels. The medications that we have, um, the most commonly uh, prescribed one is called methimazole. Um, and um, then the other medication we have, which we really only use in pregnant women in the first trimester, is someone called PTU. Gotcha. And sure. and how do you how do you dose the patient? Is it by weight? Is it by sure? Yeah, it's actually it, it can be tricky. Um, you know what I tend to do is I look at how severe the um, the labs are off, and then based on that I can I usually guess at a dose, and then the patient would have to come back a few weeks later to check the dose to see if it's an appropriate dose or not. Okay, so that actually leads me to my next question. So you go in, they um, you explain to them what's going on, mm -hmm. you tell them the treatment plan. Yep. So what is what is afterwards look like? What's the post visit look like or what does the patient have to do um, afterwards? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So what happens with hyperthyroidism, once you're started on medication to, bring, to normalize the levels, patients usually feel better in the first few weeks. Um, and they're very thankful because hyperthyroid patients tend to feel very, um, very miserable with their symptoms. And so typically in the first few weeks, they feel better. Then they come back and we check their levels and we adjust the dose. Um, you know, this medication is not something that we usually keep people on for a long term. So if the, if the hyperthyroidism improves and we can come off medication, uh, that's wonderful. If it doesn't improve, uh, on the medication, then we have to do something we call definitive therapy or definitive treatment, which essentially is um, radioactive iodine. So it's um, a radioactive version of iodine, which is what the thyroid hormone is made of, that will kill off the thyroid. Or in certain cases, we may need to do surgery to remove the thyroid, like we saw in the video at the Mayo Clinic, what they were doing before. Gotcha. So medication is mm -hmm. one, one way. Mm -hmm. And earlier we spoke about how to find out what's going on with the thyroid. Mm -hmm. Is there other ways besides a blood test? I know sometimes we mentioned that it can get enlarged. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that one way also to kind of, that might be a red flag? Yeah, absolutely, it can definitely be a red flag. Um, you know, anytime we have somebody that presents with a goiter, um, which just is a fancy term for a big thyroid, um, or a thyroid nodule, or any, um, any enlargement in the neck, we always check a thyroid function uh, panel to make sure that the function is, is, is normal.